Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning to those of you who may be watching all over the world. My name is Leo Brown, and here's today's weekly forecast for the week of July 25th until July 31st. First of all, before I get into it, I want to say thank you to all of you for watching, for commenting, for sharing, and most of all, subscribing to my channel. It means a great deal. I'm definitely going to come back with more videos um, probably later in the week. So you'll definitely see more of me. Um, and excuse my disheveled appearance. I'm trying to actually grow my beard out. And, you know, so it'll, it'll look cute. You know, but right now we looking kind of gruff, gruff and stuff. <laughs> but gruff and stuff is beautiful, too. So I wanted to go ahead and go into this week's weekly forecast for the week of July 25th until July 31st. So we're now officially in Leo season. Shout out to all my Leos in the world. Yay. Uh, or my Leos. <laughs> um, and I hope all of you are learning to shine. Last week's card was the star. The week before that, I believe, was the sun. So let's see what this week's card is, what this week's forecast is going to give us. All right. So this week's forecast is the Ace of Cups. So in tarot, you have books because tarot is based on a card name. And I may go into different types of divination too, because there's more than tarot. There's tarot, there's numerology, there's astrology, there's um, I Ching, which is divination through coins. There's dowsing rods, there's divination with dice. Um, in African spirituality, you have divination with um, cola nuts and um, cargo shells, things like that. So I may do some videos on that to expound on that, on the different types. Okay, so in tarot, you have your suits. So you have your aces, you have, because it's based on the card game. So you have your aces, you have your kings, you have your queens, you have your trumps, which is, you know, those are like your, uh, your trump cards are your, and not to be confused with all of them, but your trump cards are your death card, your star card, your sun card, the moon, um, the world, um, or some, in, in some decks it's called rejuvenation, um, your kings, your queens, your pages, um, things like that. Those are normally um, your uh, court cards. So in this, we're dealing with a court card. This is a court card, I believe. And yes, this is a court card. And with this card, this deals with the beginning because aces deal with the beginning. Aces are usually one. If you, if for those of you who play cards, like who, who know card games, like Texas Hold'em or even Spades, um, aces deal with one or they deal with eleven. Right. So in this case, we're dealing with the Ace of Cups. So the Cups indicate uh, emotions. They indicate uh, love. They indicate healing, uh, fem the feminine, uh, feminine energy, because uh, you can be a man and, and possess feminine energy. Uh, and so in this case, this is a new beginning. This is all about someone letting go and starting over and saying, you know what? excuse me, I'm going to let go of my emotional pain and I'm going to start the healing process. But it also can talk about how because of said emotional pain, you may be reluctant to start a new relationship, to start a, a new partnership, not necessarily a love relationship, but a new friendship. You may be reluctant to trust because that's another thing because it deals with trust too, because in this uh, we're dealing with the suit of cups, so it's all about um, trust, intuition. Uh, what else am I thinking of? Um, of course, the element of water. I said that earlier. Uh, it deals with a lot of that. A lot of things when we think of, you know, the ocean, the mother, you know, it deals with that, you know, feminine mysteries. So this is all about someone that's like, you know what, I'm going to go into, so in regards to the week, right? So we're going to go into the week with a new outlook, a more, um, let's see, I want to say the word cleansing palette or a more healthier version of, you know, emotionally, more, you know, healthier, a healthier 
um, emotional palate with certain things. But at the same time, we may be reluctant to start over and start anew and, and look at things from a different perspective because of what we've been through. You know what I mean? And what we may be presently going through, because it's also about, you know, letting not just letting go, but um, tying up loose ends emotionally as well, because aces are all about renewal. Aces are all about a new chapter. Uh, in tarot. So this week's uh, card is all about getting your emotional house in order, all about starting over, all about healing, all about letting go and letting in, you know, not just letting go and just moving on, but letting in, letting a new attitude take shape, letting, you know, like in terms of career, letting you um, pursue that new opportunity, despite your, like, you may be nervous or you might, you know, be a little afraid of taking a risk. Um, in terms of new friends, allowing new friends to come in, being more social. Um, in terms of love relationships, allowing someone to love you, but also you loving them. And more importantly, you learning to love yourself. So this week's uh, energy is all about healing. It's all about letting go and allowing, you know, the new cycle to take shape but also looking at past baggage and saying, you know, I need, what do I need to get rid of? What am I afraid of? You know, why is there resistance in terms of trusting other people, trusting myself, trusting in the divine that is within and around and above and below me, you know, things of that nature. So that's what this week's energies are all about. The Ace of Cups from July 25th until July 31st. And if you've enjoyed that very short, um, not introduction, but that very short, this very short video about this particular card, let me know in the comments, does it relate to you? Do you feel that way? Do you feel a sense of renewal, a sense of healing? You know, what work do you feel you have to do within yourself or with those around you? Let me know in the comments um, what you think, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, for sharing, for most of all subscribing and for commenting. It means a lot. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.